Hey friends, it's Em. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing? Oh my god, I haven't posted in over a month and I have so much to share with you guys. It's unreal. So tonight I am going to be doing a little self-care night. A little giving you guys an update on what's been going on and why I haven't posted in the past month. And trust me, it's it's heavy. So before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate that so, so much. And I promise there's so many more videos to come. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Do you guys remember in my last video when I said, I feel it guys, things are changing? Let me tell you, almost everything now has completely changed. My world has been flipped upside down. It's been a roller coaster. Let's get these lashes off. So basically, it's so crazy to say this on camera, but I am single. I am no longer a fiance. I am no longer engaged. And I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty of it or give you guys like details about it because you know, that's just like personal stuff that I'm still going through. This is all like, you know, within this past month, everything that's been going on. Other than like my regular just like mental health stuff. At first, that's why I didn't record and like film anything because I've been just going through cycles and then procrastinating. And then, you know, some things happened and now I'm single. So I just haven't, you know, I just haven't been up to it. But I'm going to be using this to remove my makeup. It's the oil-free eye makeup remover. I got this stuff from Target. But yeah, so I am single, which means I also can't be a stay-at-home mom anymore because, you know, like I'm going to be a single mom. A lot's changing in life. And I actually had a job interview, which I ended up like literally getting trained today as well. I'm gonna be bartending at a bar here in the town where I live. I don't know. Things have just been big adjustments and I don't know. I've been doing a lot of inner work. Just heal from what's been going on, being a great mom and like making the transition with all of this as smooth as possible for the babies. And yeah, it's just, been a lot but at the same time I trust the universe I do I trust and put my faith and my soul to the universe I really do we got this we got this somehow it always works out I mean you've sur survived a hundred percent of your worst days so I mean we got this everything happens for a reason oh I'm gonna go wash my face I'll be right back. And real quick, guys, what I use to wash my face is the same stuff that I use, like, to wash my children. But it's the Hello Bello. And literally, it's, I recommend it. Like, this is all I use on my face. Sometimes I'll use some exfoliator. And, like, I don't do face masks that often. Like, I haven't done one in months. And, like, I'm on my period right now, and that's why I'm, like, breaking out a little bit. But 10 out of 10 would recommend it. Okay, I washed my face and like I just told you guys I'm on my period so and I'm trying not to eat past 7 p.m. for like you know trying to be healthy but I'm gonna snack on a Rice Krispie treat and also speaking of period products I got tampons literally look how cute of a container these come in I've been trying these out it's the brand L and then it says organic cotton tampons and then the regular and the super and let me tell you, I love these. And I'm completely switching over to these. And they're not, like, any more expensive than, like, those Kotex U or whatever. So, and they're, like, organic, good for the environment, and good for your vagine. So, it's a win-win-win situation. Just me and my snacks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Mm. Okay, so now that I've washed my face... And had my little treat i'm going to be using this freeman face mask uh charcoal and black sugar mud mask wait is this a peel off one 
I don't like the ones where they peel. Okay, I rinse it off. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and do this mask. I haven't done a face mask in so long. Actually, let me like put my hair all the way up real quick. So yeah, guys, it's just, it's life has been such a big adjustment and so many new changes and just a lot. And I'm normally someone who really doesn't do well with big changes. Like it makes me very, very anxious. So I've been trying to keep as positive as I can about it and like know that everything will be all right and everything is happening the way it should and it's crazy because not the past full moon that just happened but the one before that I've been manifesting and like really just trying to get put on the right path in life and you know the universe works in mysterious ways so I truly do believe I'm on my true path I'm gonna have so many more videos coming soon uh the kids are with their dad right now and it's been really hard adjusting to not having my babies all the time because like I'm not having to work and it's just I miss them so freaking much and I figured you know I, I be, you know I've been putting YouTube on the back burner to deal with all this stuff but now I can like do YouTube while they're like you know all by myself have the house to myself while they're over with their dad so I'm just trying to look at that as a blessing and the fact that I can focus on like some of my personal goals and like with my channel and everything and I'm just trying to have as positive of an outlook with it as I possibly can but I figured you know right before I need to celebrate having getting this new job new beginnings you know I need a nice little self-care day I need to start doing self-care a lot more and like you can do self-care, self-care is not just doing a freaking face mask. Self-care is a lot more than that. Sometimes you just need to do the face mask. Put your hair up with the little plush bow thing. But yeah, um, as far as, I'm trying to think if there's any other updates. Mental health wise, um, I've hit a couple cycles. Um, but I've been doing pretty solid, like emotionally. As far as like, you know, me and my ex like separating and everything and I don't know, obviously things are hard, you know, it's a big adjustment. I've been with the man for three years. I mean, there's been a com couple of on and off times, but you know, when you love someone and things don't work out, it definitely sucks, but I can't sit here and dwell on what happened. I got to focus on what to do next, you know. I got a whole plan and I'm not telling it to you guys. You guys will see. And I'm excited to bring you guys on this journey with me. This summer we're having a, a hot mom summer. We're bringing our babies. We're bringing our snacks. We're bringing our wine. It's all gonna be okay. Be okay. Check out this tattoo. Be okay. This tattoo is super meaningful to me. I was in the hospital. That's a whole nother story that I eventually do want to talk to you guys about. This tattoo with a little semicolon, be okay. Sometimes I gotta just look down and remind myself like, be okay. And I was in a really dark place and that statement right there literally got me through. As soon as I got out of the hospital, literally less than a week later, I got it tattooed on me and it's there for life. One thing that they told us in the hospital, a quote that they put up on the board was like, this too shall pass. It may hurt like a kidney stone, but it will pass. And that's something I think about, you know? Like, it will pass. You will get through it. You're gonna heal. You can do it. So whatever your goals are, work towards those. Wake up with a purpose. Okay, so I just took a shower, rinsed my face, brushed my teeth, moisturized, all that fun stuff. I am going to use just like sugar, sugar scrub on my lips. I'm going to use my rose quartz roller on my face. And like guys, I super, super debated even like saying any of this stuff on YouTube, but I just want to like 
keep it super authentic and like really be myself and really like have you guys on this journey with me but yeah if you guys have any advice feel free to leave it in the comment section because you might not like even realize it but you might be helping a lot more than just like me there's like you know other people that are in the same situation or similar situations and that could really be helping you never know like sometimes the smallest things can make the biggest impact i love those sugar scrubs because they taste so good <laughs> oh my goodness oh and what we're gonna do is just Rose quartz it up all over our face and let all of that stress out. You don't need it anymore, babe. You don't need it anymore. Anything that no longer serves you, just let go of it. I just want you guys to know, like, whatever your struggles are, whatever you guys are dealing with, like, you're not alone. I mean, obviously, like, no one's in your exact situation with your same perception of it and all of that stuff, but you're not alone. We got this, this crazy, crazy thing called life. <sighs> Dude, so I watched this TikTok where it like does like a sound bowl and it's like wherever you felt it is like where you need healing. And like, I felt it in my heart and like, I mean, and that makes sense, you know, going through like a breakup and like everything that's going along with it. <sighs> I need a just cleanse my heart chakra. Really need to realign all of them for real. So get ready because you guys are going to be getting a lot more content. And yeah, I'm sorry I was gone for a while. I just had I have stuff to work out. And I'm, you know, it's not all fully worked out still, but it's okay. It's gonna be. I told you guys everything I wanted to tell you like you know life is crazy and you never know what will happen like you might think one thing is how it's gonna be but really like it's not and you know that's okay you know i kind of came on here and just been like oh like let's just do a self-care routine and you guys would have never have known unless like i said something but i think it's important I just want you guys to remember that no matter what you're going through, you're not alone. If you literally need someone, like, my inbox is open, like, feel free to message me because this life can be really crazy. This life can try to beat you down. Try. I emphasize try because it, we're not going to let it, like, you know, things happen and feel your emotions. It's healthy to feel your emotions. Cry. Do what you got to do, you know? But don't be there too long. Don't don't get comfortable in that place. You know, and nothing happens overnight. It's all it's all work. It's it doesn't end. So just know that you have made it this far. I believe in you. The universe believes in you. I love you guys so much. If you watched until the end, I appreciate you so so much. I love you. You got this. You got this. All right. Just say it to yourself right now. I got this. I got this. I am. I am. You got this. All right. So until next time, make sure you guys like this video, comment on this video, share this video, do all the things you guys already know. I love you so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart and the depths of my soul. Until next time, I love you guys.